I can start with uh, saying that I am academic director at Asensia Malta, and so um, there are a lot of exciting things uh, okay. going on for us. We are a subsidiary of College de Paris as well, and so uh, you know we, we have a lot of travel going on, and okay. uh, we have a lot of students, international students, international colleagues. Um, we collaborate a lot on educational programs and research and so on, so that's very exciting. Um, I also uh, do some work with um, the creation of uh, psychometric tests that will be completely AI based. And okay. so it takes away the paper and pencil uh, or the, the questionnaire form of psychometric testing. Okay. <laughs> There's a, that's a lot to unpack. Um, yes. I will, I'm still wondering what is the role of an academic director? Oh, okay. Well, before we go into the AI, which is very interesting and which is. Um, a topic, a hot topic in today's in today's yes. day and age. So, but before that, what is the role of an academic director? I think the role of an academic director will because I have to say I think um, okay. I wouldn't say I know for a fact that every academic director would do things this way. Okay. But um, in my case, I think the role of an academic director is to. Um, oversee educational programs and then to make sure that they are of the highest possible standard okay. when it comes both to the academic uh, part but also to preparing students for their actual jobs and their life after they complete their their schooling and another part of that is finding the absolute best possible teachers for these students and always keeping my eye out for um, you know, the people who can inspire the students, people who have something to give to the students. Um, we have a philosophy here, which I really love, which is uh, lectures are theory and practice. So okay. uh, students are very hands on. We are not just, you know, throwing theory at them, but we actually want them to understand and process what they are learning. And it's a philosophy that I, I personally really enjoy. Um, it, it actually came from my own education, so from my master's program. Um, when I was completing it, I really felt that, that this idea of merging theory and practice was fantastic. And, and I felt after I completed that program that I went to work and, and I knew how to actually do things. Okay. You know? And, and so for me, that's really important that I can um, guide our academic uh, team and our students and the philosophy of the school to have students that are going to be ready for work. That's, that's something very important to me mm -hmm. because you know most of the time this is why people are studying. They want mm -hmm. to try to get ahead in life. They want to, to improve themselves. So um, yes, um, I guess that is a little bit in a nutshell what I do as an academic director. I think that uh, everyone has has a different way of formulating their role you know so i imagine that an academic director um i don't know halfway across the world in china might do mm -hmm. things differently yeah. uh, which is it's why very I cultural say as well I correct think. so depends on the culture and the day and age you're living in as well so yes and maybe the philosophy of the school as mm -hmm. well so so i think that uh, yes for me this is the 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 way that i like to do it um, you remind me of a saying that it, this is a fun saying that we use at Scouts. We learn by doing, mm -hmm. and I think it, it, it resonates very well with that um, because ultimately we learn. We, no matter how hands-on we are, I think as human beings we are. We learn as we experience things um, with our sensations, not not only with our minds and through thinking. The practice element needs to come into play in, in some way, shape, or form. So. Um, I think that's actually a very effective philosophy when it comes to teaching and learning. So um, I, I support that, that idea. Thank you for that. Yes, 100%. I, I also feel like um, because business and business opportunities are so competitive sometimes, um, it's important that people who are new graduates have some skills you know sometimes it feels like if you don't have skills you're being thrown into 
uh, you know, the shark tank. Yeah. And you have to figure it out all by yourself. So at least maybe if you already have some skills, have some ideas, have experience of internships, have experience of, you know, um, doing assignments that require you to present um, a proposal to a panel of, of uh, lecturers that you already have started to develop some of these skills. Will you have to learn a lot at work? Yes, absolutely. Um, but at least you have, you know, the starting place. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and for me, that's very important. I really believe that um, for, for a person to be successful at work, they need to have some, some um, you know, um, inner skills, some more than inner skills, some... some soft skills. Not really soft mm -hmm. skills, but some... Um, some, some personal skills, I can't think of a word for it, but some personal skills that are transferable, that are mm -hmm. not so job specific. So for example, mm -hmm. um, being able to communicate well, being resilient, yeah. being able yeah. to collaborate with other mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. uh, being a problem solver, knowing how to solve problems and so on, you know, skills that they will take with them wherever they go. And that um, sometimes I feel like are not so well focused on in educational programs in traditional mm -hmm, educational mm -hmm, programs mm -hmm. um, so I think it's important to have both to be mm -hmm. to be successful in businesses and I bring this philosophy from the fact that um, I've worked in businesses I've helped businesses um, and I, I had the opportunity to see uh, what what the difficulties that some businesses would face or that some people who are employees would face it is an area of research that I am very interested in. I have been researching for some time also. So I, I think having some, you know, some, some good skills besides just theory and practice mm -hmm. uh, will, will very much help a person succeed in mm -hmm. their career.